Hello, I'm Entrilisium and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, a relatively realistic medieval RPG. Instead of doing storyline stuff today, I was thinking that maybe we could go hunting some treasure. Because people have been suggesting we should do that, and we should do that, because there's meant to be some really good stuff available. So, what's the nourishment on? 87, that's absolutely fine. It's night time, which is a great time to set up looking for treasure, because by the time we get there... Oh, sweet pancake. Hmm. Uh, by the time we get there, it'll be light. So, when you're looking at inventory, <laughs> hair everywhere. The perils of owning a cat. And we have the ancient maps, and we also have the treasure maps. So, let's have a look at you. Okay, Rov Rovna. So, south of Rovna, because that's north is up, next to like a, a plateau, mesa, like hill formation. A bend in a river and a bridge. There is a house. Then, like, behind the house or to, like, the left of the house or something. Okay. So, we're looking for a bend in a river, a hill, and a house next to a bridge. South of Rovna. So, Rovna is here. So, south. This is, like, the beginning of that hill. So, the hill... Probably extend. I'm gonna have to go into the fog of war. Okay, we're gonna have to go to Rovna. Have a proper look. Hello there, Trojan. It's a shame what what happened to Pebbles. Right. Let's get it on. Rovna it is. I'm, I'm clicking. Clicking. Can I? There we go. People are like, oh, yeah, you shouldn't double click. It's like, well, sometimes you have to double click and sometimes, okay, I'll examine this wayfarer. How are you with riddles? Okay. How about I put a bullet, a bullet, an arrow through your face? That's a riddle. Hey, man. How about a small wager, my good man? That depends. A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. If you solve it, you get back twice the sum you wager. If you don't, I get to keep your coin. Sounds like a terrible idea. That sounds good. Let's do it. Now, listen carefully. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later... Another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, closes the hall window. Now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? None. The candles will have burnt out by then. None. No, no, my fine fellow, the correct answer is three. While the wind blows out three, seven burns Oh, they didn't relight them. Overnight. Yeah, there we go. So the next day, only three can be rekindled. Oh, don't you fret. Very few people can figure out my riddles. <laughs> so, can I shoot him? I thank you. Can I shoot him? And may we meet again I sometime. I Not if I see you first. Wait, I bet five. How did you take ten off me? An arrow in the back. I bet. I swear, I bet five groschen. Hmm. Right. Carry on. Carcass on the road. I'm going to ride around. I really couldn't care about animal carcasses. Now, the idea is hopefully we can get there and it'll be daytime just so you'll actually be able to see what's going on. Because I know it is very difficult on YouTube to see in the black. Of night. <sighs> Which is a shame, because it's great for sneaking and all that, but... YouTube. Wayfarer. Sure, we're close enough to our location. I'm sick. Help me, please. 
Why do I have my sword out? Let's let's not do that. I'm poor. Not a single brush into my name. Please. Please, sir. Help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet have fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir? So I can swathe my feet at least. Penitence is supposed to go bath. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Just, dude, sure. Wait, I'll see what I've got. I'm two. I only, only wanted one. Okay, well, you can have two. Anyway. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now. Okay, anyway. We were on our way. And now we need to go south. I might just wait an hour as well, just to make sure it is, like, properly light, because now the sun is rising. There we go. Oh, and we can now eat from a pot. Lovely. Not that I think there's going to be a pot around here, because this place is wrecked. Yeah, the Cubans did a good number on it. Okay, so we need to go south. So, down here... We need to look out for a house and maybe bend in a river. I don't think that counts as a house. I think it's like a little farm storage shed or something. They're different on the map. Put the brand away. Here we go. This is a bridge, but I don't think it's the right one. It's not like a bend. This looks like the Mesa type thing that should be on the East. And that is east, so that's good. River's still there. This looks like a bend. Oh, it's a bend in the road. No, the river's still over there. Is there a bend coming up? Looking at that hill, it does come up right in front of us. So, oh, house. Yes, this is good. No, it's not a house, it's actually a barn. Wait. That's a house. Because this is actually 3D, you can get perspective. Right, so that house there. Uh, there's a bend in the river here, but it's the wrong way. It's got to bend like the other way, away from Rovna. But that's a house up ahead. And a bridge. Hello. A river that bends away, a bridge, and a house. Oh, give me, give me the spade. Okay, so like round the side. Here? No. Here! Wait. This is a grave. Or oh, something's a grave. So Ooh! There we go! Treasure. Please not a dead body. That'd be a bit disappointing. Treasure. I'm standing on the... That's... It's a body. That's a body. There we go. Right. But next to the body is a thing. Ash longbow. The longbow is the best and deadliest medic. Woo! Decorated riding riding boots. 
Charisma 18. Ooh. Magdeburg Curious, maybe. Odd die. Playing die, load in favor of odd numbers. Who needs a key for lock picking? A necklace with a charisma of 20 and 200 groschen. Yoink. So that was worthwhile. However, our Yulongbo longbow is actually better. Which is a shame. What about the Magdeburg Curious? Actually worse. Than our dyed Milanese Brigandine. Which is a shame, because I really dig it. It looks pretty badass. I'll, I probably won't even sell this. I'll probably keep it somewhere for, you know, safekeeping. It does give us a one buff to charisma. Now. Definitely wearing the necklace. And didn't we have some, like, shoes or something? Oh, it would massively kill off because it's instead of leg plate. Yeah. No, we're not. We might put them in a, in a box somewhere, but eh, not a bad haul. Just not anything that we could really use massively. Apart from, like, a loaded die and a necklace. It's fine. Right. Not a bad haul. Probably should, like, have a look down here and actually clear some of this fog of war. Let's try traveling south for a bit, just to clear some fog of war before we do more uh, quests for treasure. Because otherwise we are going to be wandering around being like, I don't know where the treasure is when it actually it's like actually off the map in an area that's uh, still fog of war. So we're just going to ride this way and see if we can find anything interesting. Hi. 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 Okay. I mean, you are a poacher, so... Quite scenic, though. Nice little ride. I think Henry could do with this after all he's been through. Nice, like, chill in the forest. No cumin, no bandits, just... Oh, hello. It's a very up and down area here. Deep hillside, no ambushes, no angry people, just me and the open road. And any minute now, probably dead. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Pretty. Yeah, we'll have to start turning soon. Which I guess we already are. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you? You're a place. What is this place? Sasau. Do we not know Sasau already? I guess we've just heard about it a lot, maybe? Hello. Oh, is this a place that's got... So this might be the place that's got the uh, the masonry quest, which is why I know the name. Which we'll not do, because I've heard that that is horrifically bugged. Thank you, comment section. But if we do that, we might have issues. So, uh... We might do it at some stage, and just very carefully progress. And then we can always go back if there are bugs. Like, lots of saving. Right. I don't really dare talk to people here. Oh, Sasa's actually further down the road. Let's 
just a monastery. Oh, that's... Oh, God. Sasav's actually quite big. Hello, Sasau. Have you got, like, traders who can sell? Because that's often a problem. Ooh, hot stable. Um, maybe a cow ranch instead? I don't know. I was wondering if like, they could have horses, which could be better than mine. But I see a pot. It's my pot now. Yoink. Not the fact I'm not even paying. Just I just came into town. I'm just like, oh look, you've made food. Yum nom 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 nom. This is not my food. A little like military encampment there, set up with tents and everything. Right, let's have a quick look at our map. Activity giver, an explored place, a lot of things. Yes, that's how big. Let's do the other treasure map. Which is Sasso. Okay, uh, so that's the monastery on the hill. That's Sasso to the south of us. There's a river and a bridge. And there's an island with a tree. Sure. This is a bridge. This is an island. This is an island. This is probably the island we want. This looks suitably tree-like. Why am I whistling? I'm on the horse. Is that new? Okay. A lot of frogs. That's cool. I like that. Oh, this is a tree. This is a tree. Oh, <gasps> it is. Well, that was easy. We're not going to be this competent all the time. Decorated, curious? Hmm. Even number die. Fashionable slippers. Ooh. Grashant primer. Robber Baron sword. It's a short sword. It's a good short sword, though. I'll take it all. Again, I don't think it's going to be of massive use to us. Not a massive drop, though. Not a massive drop at all. It's tempting. And I'm not sure I like the look of it as much. It's only a drop of 3, 3, 1... And the Magdeburg Curious was two, one. Z Actually, the Magdeburg Curious is such a small drop. Might actually just be worth it because of that. That is a higher charisma bonus, though. Hmm. Tempting. Very, very tempting. But that's that's another. We're less than twenty minutes into the episode, and already that's two successes. Treasure hunting with EE. Don't expect it to be like this all the time. You really like your goats. I right, so I think that's all the treasure maps. You know what? I'll pop into town. They might have, like, more treasure maps to buy. Hello. It's such a large city, you don't really have any city walls. There's someone just standing there. Obviously you can do stuff. Okay, excellent. You're a bathhouse. This is a butcher. Okay. 
carpenter. What was that? Some asshole on a horse. Uh, what about over here? No idea. Hello? Hello, good sir. Have you seen my horse? My horse is amazing. Oh, I literally can't talk to you. Okay. Like, okay, if you want my custom, maybe just shout at me, be like, hey, ye, I wanna give you the stuff for the stuff. That would help. Ooh, a forge. Was our sword engraved by, like, the master over at Sasau? Did he, did our father say that? Because this is Sasau. I was at Prague, I can't remember. What do you need? Uh, do you have anything actually useful? I'm looking for a longsword. Duelist! You do. That's a nice increase. Oh, I need a dagger to take human ears as well. So I'm actually going to buy the dagger. We'll buy Duelist. Skill book on honing weapons. I mean, I'll buy it, but I won't use it. Okay. Objective longsword that's suited to duels and battlefield. Never can be skilled in the hands against one opponent, but the drawback of the rage is that's fragile. Okay. Well, I can live with that. It's an increase in damage is good. It's six. Is the increase in damage really worth it at six? No, not really. I'll take the rest though. Thank you. Uh, right. Where next? Does anyone know where I can buy interesting things? Also, you might have a quest. Ooh. Okay. I just get the sense this guy might have a quest for me. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think. There is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Would you sell the sword to me afterwards? I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratite couldn't manage it. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Sounds nice. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from him. They say the largest piece is with the Ratite swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... 
Okay. Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. I kind of want that. I hope it's a long sword. I really do. Right, now. Ooh. Blacksmith. Damn. Hello. Hi. Good health to you. I'm looking for pieces of a sword that a pilgrim from the Holy Land was selling. Would you happen to know anything about it? I would. Of course I would. Well? It's a load of tripe. Only a fool would have given that trickster a single groschen, and I'm no fool. How about you? But if he lied about that sort of stuff, it would be a terrible sin. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, lad. That bastard never saw the Holy Land, unless it was in a fresco. Do you have anything interesting? Not really. Nope. Okay. In fact, your stuff is really, really boring. I guess you are just a blacksmith, not like a proper armorer. Mm, and we do need to pop down the main street. I'm just going to quickly go there. Right. Hello, hello, hello. Are you a trader? Be a bit more careful. Hey! Hey, you walked into me! Oh, no, you've just got sausage. Jesus, look where you're- You're a charlatan, mate. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bones, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. Now! You're a charlatan. Like, why should I believe anything you say? I'm honored that about that I knew you be interested. That yes, that dream has come true. Oh dear. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. And that's supposed to be me. Who else? What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell me, who are you and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant? Believer or, or heathen? I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. Homeless Charlton, then. I, okay. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments. I'm tired. Medics, Just... Aromatic <sighs> herbs. Rare spices. Talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. No. I'm not becoming... I'm, dude, I'm like super powerful badass now. No, I definitely don't want to be your apprentice. A shame. But perhaps providence shall yet cause... Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Uh, oh! Amra! Scribe? I hope I can be of some um Oh! Books! I like books, I'll have them. I'd like to discuss. Sure. Agree? That's not enough. Well, we didn't like that. Finally, a reasonable sum. <laughs> Just, okay, 10 more Groshen. Oh, this is not the armorer's place. Hmm. This is the armor's place? There's the one next door. Ah! Well, gotta buy some books though. Hey, Lord! I'm here to buy stuff. I hope I can be of help to you. Ooh, training. Can you show me how to? Certainly. I'm interested in. Wouldn't you rob? Yeah, I don't have enough. Okay. Wow. Eh. Is any of this better than what I've got? Technically, these plate pauldrons are like a tiny bit better. But they are less charisma by... Oh, no, the charisma 20. But for some reason, putting them on makes my charisma dive to 9. Decorated German bassinet. It's not as good, though. Uh, anything else we want? No, 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 no. Again, plate pauldrons are actually better than ours. Pretty tempting. Again, plate pauldrons are better than ours. Nobleman's Gauntlets, which have a 17 charisma, which is nice, but. No. No. I know, I'm not even going to get the pauldrons off you because I think we might end up finding some better stuff. I was really just hoping for treasure maps around here. Check the other side of the street. Hello, does anyone have treasure map? You're a tailor, no. Gotta find like a general goods or something. You're like a grocer? Baker. Gotta find a candlestick maker? Innkeeper, maybe you've got like a map. I am at your service. Are there any prob- Well, of course it's your own scallets, folk. Need the most help. There's some of them at the monastery. I talked to your hanker a few times. She's working her fingers to the oh. bone taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who- And that's not all. You're from scallets, ain't you? You must know Fritz and Matthew, then. Them fellows need to learn some manners. They've been making mischief and folk are getting fed up with them. And they survived? Wow. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. But we dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. But it was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels for dust. All the way to Ledechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. That's all I can think of. That's a lot of things. <laughs> Tavern life. A book on drinking and alcoholism. I'll take it.
Is there even a general goods trader here? There probably is, it's just I haven't seen them. Unexplored place, unexplored place. Uh, I'll look at this one since it's close, but then we'll go back to... We'll have to look at the ancient maps. I was hoping to use the treasure maps, not the ancient maps, to begin with, but... There we go. Butcher. That's got to be a general trader. Like, there's got to be a general trader here somewhere. Oh, no, that's the general trader. Oh, God damn. Why do people put fences? They're so annoying. General Trader, it is. Right, where are you, General Trader? General Trader? Hello? Oh, you're the... Hi. That was a guard. Sorry. I hope I can be of... <laughs> no. Makes me sad. Wait, what did I have selected that made my, like, weapon damage, like, 122? Is that just a bug or something? Maybe. No. It's just a bug. Okay. Right. Let's go have a look. Where are we going next? Uh, ancient map. Five. There's no names on that map. It's like a body of water going to another body of water. And there's like a castle on a hill below it. Okay. So castle on the hill makes me think Talmberg. And there's a blacksmith there. There's a body of water going to another body of water. I don't recognize that. What about up here? Hmm. Not sure about this one. Again, I haven't got the full map uncovered, so there could be some more details that I'm missing. It makes me think Talmberg. But where's our other body of water? Like, we've got one here. And that's west, so it's above the body of water. No. What about you, four? Right, Rate is to the south of here. There is a double bridge. Okay, so north of Rate. Bend in the river going east. I assume it's east, actually. This doesn't have north, south, east, this could be anywhere around Rate. Great. That looks like it then. Because that's the weir. Alright, let's go. Do 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 Attack on the road. Ooh! Yeah! Want to earn a bit of coin? You're not averse to a bit of profit, are you? 
Dude, you your mates are right there. Stop and talk a while at least. Okay. But dude, your mates are right there. There's nothing to it. He's here. Yes, yes, I am here. We've got him. Blood will be spilt. Really? <laughs> Had enough. <laughs> Okay, now you're dead. Where's your mate go? Right, didn't go down there. Where did your mate go? Your mate obviously needs to die. Really? Did you really think picking on a fully armored knight was a good idea? Apparently so. I think that counts as the Darwin Award. You're not even really worth my time. Hell, you had a reforged scythe as a weapon. You idiots, right. I think that bunny was just having a bit of a day. Sorry, I'm not even going to pick your stuff up. <laughs> it's massively wasteful. I'll ride for a few seconds, see if I can find that guy who ran. No. Damn it. I was really hoping we could get him, his impudence. It doesn't appear so. Right, Ladech call. And then this is our locale. Hi, Wayfarer. Do you want to try and rob me? Because I will murder you. You're, you're wearing chain mail. You're not a beggar. What's it about? Chain. An offer you can't refuse. The finest goods at an incredible price. All right. Show me what you're selling. As you wish. The stolen goods. That's fair die. The third and last in the line of the demonic dice. For three points. For for five point three gro Yeah, sure. It sounds cool. I want a demon dice. It's totally stolen, but sure. Now, we go left, we take the first left after the wood, and we find, like, some rubble. So, here-ish. Okay, let's do this. Do 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 do. The legend told. Galavant. Right. Well, oh, hello. Sorry about that, Bush. Uh, yes, I follow the road. Wait, do I? Is the road being weird? The road is being weird. We continue on. Hello down there! We're having a lovely day up here. Hello. Hello. It's a nice field. Definitely no cumin or bandits around. Spoilers, there's probably going to be cumin and bandits. There actually won't down here. It's actually a relatively safe area. We should probably spend more time up north. I said, I'm pretty sure we have fought a human down here before. All right, take the left. Look out for destroyed ruin.
as opposed to an undestroyed ruin. There we go, there it is. Wasn't that like a bandit camp? It was a bandit camp. Right. What am I looking for? Inside the destroyed ruin, okay. I have discovered an interesting site. Okay, isn't that lovely? I like this is my way in. Hello, hello, hello. Lockpick. Slippers? Eh. Take them. Groshen, lovely. Heavy Warhammer. Oh, that's so cool. Lightweight Dark Brigandine. Uh, I've got better than that. Recipe for a lullaby potion. Silver ring. Warhorse helmet. Warhorse shoes. Okay. Let's look at these. Right. Um, cool, but no. Oh, wrong one. Ah! It is an improvement. It looks kind of weird, but sure. And I guess we'll send some of our stuff to our horse because we are carrying stuff that we're not using right now. I keep the brocade out of jacket on me in case I actually need to go into a proper fight because we'll need that. We're only not wearing it because it, it clips a little bit. It does add a lot to our blunt resistance though. Uh, we'll send that over, we'll send that over, we'll send those over. Send our old helmet. Send the lightweight brigandine. We'll keep the Magdeburg curious because it is pretty badass. I might want to wear it soon. It's only six weight. Send the silver ring. Send the warhorse shoes. Okay. Still, not a bad bit of loot. Not a bad bit of loot at all. Hello there, horsey. You know what, we should probably also uh, go to our inventory and then send any map that we've completed to our horse. There we go. So we've got four ancient maps, one of which I really couldn't work out instantly. The other three of which we might be able to get something out of. So I think that'll be the next mission. Next time we'll do a little bit more hunting. Maybe we'll just deliberately go looking for a fight as well. Like, maybe just to deliberately find some cumin to beat on. But for now, I've been Eric If you like, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Until next time, stay shiny.